Okay, we have to another integral. This one's from the UK integration. It'll be 2023, 20, 2024, problem one. We have the integral from zero to one of x to the 69 minus one over ln x dx. Okay, I know I did a problem really similar to this just like a few weeks back, and the only difference was, I'm pretty sure the exponent wasn't 69. It was probably 2024, 20, because that's what they usually use. But in this case, they use 69 for the exponent. So what I want to do for this is let's actually do this using Feynman's technique. I'm going to rewrite this and parameterize this. Just, we'll call this exponent t instead of 69 for a second. So when I rewrite this, I'm gonna have this as x to the t minus one over natural log x. Just noticing that when we wanna get back to our original solution, we're just gonna want f of 69. But now one other value that we're gonna want for this is we're gonna want some other t value where we can evaluate and know the whole value of the integral. And what's gonna work for that is just notice if t is zero, x to the zero is one, the numerator becomes zero, the integral becomes zero. So we'll have this for later that we can say that f of zero is gonna just be equal to zero. And next, going ahead with Feynman's technique, we just need to differentiate this whole thing with respect to t. And so what we wanna do for this, we actually wanna differentiate inside the integral here. And we'll do this with a partial because we've got two variables now, t and x. So we'll differentiate this with respect to t. So now going ahead with this derivative, what I wanna notice first is ln x, this piece, this piece right here, this is just gonna be a constant with respect to t. So we can bring this in front and it's not gonna be affected by the derivative. And so we can just take a derivative of the numerator. When we differentiate one, that's gonna be zero. For x to the t, we wanna think about this. We wanna rewrite this. For x, I can rewrite x as e ln x. Then we have the exponent t, so we can write it kind of like this. And now for this, when you differentiate this with respect to t, then what's gonna happen, you're gonna still get back the whole thing, this e t ln x. But then chain rule on this, with respect to t, is just gonna bring natural log x in front because the derivative of t is just gonna be one. And then for this, what we do is we just rewrite it, put it back the way we had it. So this is gonna be the same thing, because like this right here is x to the t. So I can rewrite this as x to the t times ln x. So putting this back in for our derivative, this is gonna be x to the t times ln x. And one thing I noticed, I think I messed up the variable over here, because this of course is ln x, not ln t. See, it gets confusing when you have two variables sometimes. So this is ln x. But now what we can do is we can just cancel these ln x's off. And now we just have an easy integral. We've got x to the t. With respect to x, this is just gonna be power all because now t is just a constant value. So integrating this, this is gonna become x to the t plus one with power all over t plus one. We just need to evaluate from zero to one. Plugging in one, this is gonna become one to the t plus one is just one over t plus one. Evaluating at zero, that's just going to zero. So this is gonna be our value right here for f prime of t. And now at this point, we just have to kind of recall our goal. We wanna get this back to f of t and eventually back to our solution. So in order to get back to f of t, we'll just take the integral on both sides. So we'll take here the integral of f prime of t dt. And so that's just gonna be the integral of one over t plus one dt. Just doing this, this here, this is gonna be our value for f of t. And integrating this, this is just gonna be arctan of t plus c. So we can kind of just get rid of this and then we'll have this right here. This is gonna be our value for f of t. No, what the heck? No. So then let's just go ahead and integrate this. This here is gonna be natural log, absolute value of t plus one plus c. And then here, we don't really like, we don't really want this plus C here. That's not helping us. But what we can do is use this, what we set up earlier, that we have a known value for our F of T. So for F of zero, knowing this is all gonna be zero, we just plug in zero. So this is gonna be natural log, absolute value zero plus one. But this is gonna be natural log of one. So this piece is going to zero. We're saying this whole thing is equal to zero. And so the way that works is if just this C value equals zero. So we'll come back here, get rid of this C because it's just zero, that's not doing anything for us. And then we'll say here, this is gonna be our value that we can use for F of T. This is gonna be this right here. 
And so this is why changing the exponent doesn't change the problem hardly at all, because at the end, it's just gonna be the same formula and we're gonna be plugging in a constant value. So in order to finish this off, we just have to remember that our original problem, this value right here, this is just gonna be f of 69. So we'll take this here and plug in 69. And so for f of 69, we just get natural log of 70 and that's it. Okay, there it is. Good one from UK Integration B 2023-24. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.